Hey everyone, Dante here with The Raging Geek, and today we're going to take a look at the Batmobile. This is the 1966 version from the classic TV series. This particular toy is by McFarlane Toys. I picked this up at Target for $29.99. I normally don't get Batman toys. Uh, was passing by, I saw this. I really enjoy the 1966 TV series, and I picked this up. The original TV series with Adam West uh, and Burt Ward, a uh, great TV series. Um, if you haven't seen the TV series, maybe start off with the full motion picture. You'll pretty much get the gist of the TV series by watching the movie, and it, it's a great movie. Um, so I, you know, I would suggest anyone getting into uh, the 1966 Batman, start with the movie, it's probably a good uh, good starting point for you. McFarlane Toys, um, been doing a lot more Batman and DC toys. He's been doing the newer Batman series, uh, the multiverse, DC Multiverse toys, and he's also doing the, the more retro Batman. There are other Batmobiles like this, you know, it, it, finding a good uh, retro Batmobile doesn't come around too often, I want to say. Um, so, for the price point, uh, you know, this is definitely something you want to get in on if you can. I know Target, you know, a lot of these are, are Target exclusives. I don't know if the Batmobile is specifically, um, or if just all the um, DC McFarlane toys are specifically. But from my understanding, a lot of these... Uh, classic TV series Batman's from McFarlane Toys. They're uh, pre-order from Target. So I I wasn't in on the initial pre-order. I saw this in passing, you know, on a Target shelf. Um, it was in actually in the NECA section um, in the back, you know, with all the Funko Pops and things like that. Um, I saw this, you know, I was pretty uh, excited when I saw it. You know, a lot of these pre-orders. Um, you know, if you miss out on the pre-order, you're going to wind up having to pay a premium on eBay. So, I'm not sure how how hard it was to get the Batmobile. Um, but I know as far as the, the main line of figures where it's, you know, the traditional Batman, Robin, and the Joker. Uh, for all three on eBay, you're looking at around between anywhere from $100 to uh, $130 uh, on average. Um, just to give you a look at the box, the back cave, they have a full blown bat cave where the Batmobile can kind of roll into and roll out of. And as you can see, I mean, in comparison to the actual TV series, it's, it's a great likeness. So for the actual Batmobile, I want to say measurement wise, you're looking at it's it's approximately 16 inches long and about six inches wide so you know pretty substantial I have these old figures here I think they're they might be toy biz I could be wrong though again um, and they're four inch figures so just if you could take a look here and they seem to these four inch figures they seem to fit now the, the Robin goes good with the classic Batmobile, the one that I have, and, but the Batman, this Batman specifically, this is from the 1989 Batman movie with uh, Michael Keaton, but I'm going to try to see if, if they fit in it, you know, just until I can find the, the actual figures that are meant for this Batmobile. Because as of now, I haven't been able to find any retro Batman figures that could substitute and just, you know, just for show, you know, display purposes that I can put in the Batmobile. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to see if, you know, how the figures fit. Let's take a closer look. This is the Batmobile from the classic TV series. This is from McFarlane Toys. Got this at Target, $29.99. It was on the shelves. Let's open it. When I was younger, I was always a a die-hard Spider-Man fan um, and I you know I really wasn't big on DC um, you know aside from like I mentioned before you know the the Hollywood movies uh, you know especially the ones with uh, Christopher Reeve uh, Superman you know obviously the, the classic Batman TV series that I, I watched 
plenty of times on syndication. And uh, the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman, which kind of reinvigorated everyone's interest into Batman. I know there was a time in the 80s, I want to say DC wasn't really doing as well as Marvel, you know, as far as popularity. Um, I mean, I know when I was collecting comics in the late 80s, early 90s, everything was, you know, everything was about um, Marvel comics. I know the death of Superman, that kind of, you know, gave DC a little pump. Yeah, you know, always a Marvel, so just to get back to the point, always a Marvel fan. Um, as of lately, though, you know, I've been kind of kind of gravitating a lot to bat you know to batman um you know i like the darkness about it batman i want to say more for the mature audience you know it's supposed to spider-man but you know i haven't read a i haven't read a recent spider-man book in a while um you know kind of like my comic book knowledge of marvel and, and just comics in general kind of stops at 1993 and i'm, I'm kind of still like living in that past so, opening this, you know, there's two little tie wrap things here. You got a snip, and then it should slide right out. You know, if you bring on toys, invest in a nice heavy duty pair of clips or scissors. It's always good to have, makes life a lot easier. So, feeling this toy, it's got a nice hefty feel to it. Um, you know, the plastic doesn't feel too cheap. Uh, the tires are actually rubber, which is really cool. Um, so, you know, definitely Batman's going to be doing some, doing some peeling out uh, with his rubber tires, his racing slicks here. Um, so, I'm going to give you the full view. Probably be cool if you put some like uh, afterburner effects here for the the bat jet in the in the back of the Batmobile. That'd probably be pretty cool. Give you a good look in the cockpit. So definitely, um, you know, not too detailed, um, but you know, it pretty much covers all the bases of, of what's in the Batmobile. Um, you know, it's got a little side console or terminal here for Robin, uh, you know, to access the back computer or radar or whatever. Um, you know, it's got the, it's got the bat fire extinguisher in there. Um, he's got the bat gear shifter. It's an actual bat, uh, you know, steering wheel has a good likeness um, you know definitely room for customization if you wanted to you know it's definitely a nice uh, clean slate or palette um, if you wanted to touch things up uh, you know um, maybe buy one you know to keep stock in, in the box and then have a you know a second experimental one where you can I guess touch it up uh, uh, bad exhaust pipes here. So, now, what I'm going to try to do is... I'm going to try to put these figures in. Let's see how it comes out. So I'm going to, I'm going to pan down just for a little bit here. So you can take a closer look. Well, I try to put Batman and Robin in this Batmobile. So yeah, as far as rolling, it rolls really nice. It's it's really drives nice. The uh, 
the steering wheel does not turn the tires um, so it's just basic you know a basic forward and, and backward roll motion so I'm gonna put Robin in first because he's definitely looks like he belongs in here and you know after putting him in you know he looks really good in this Batmobile it's like holy scale to size Batman I fit <laughs> alright so Robin is a success if only I had a good sized retro Batman to put in here I'm definitely on the search for one. Yeah, I didn't realize how hard it is to find an old Batman toy. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. Michael Keaton takes the, takes the helm as 1966 Batman. And he actually looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's unfortunate I don't have an older one, but, you know, I have to say they fit perfect. These are four inch, they're about four inch figures and they fit really nice. I can't imagine anything bigger in this. I mean, it just wouldn't look right. So yeah, I mean, if I could just find another Batman that was, you know, of the older 1966 style, you know, I'd be happy even without getting the uh, the actual McFarlane Toys one. Because um, this Robin is actually looking pretty schnazzy in there. like hello Robin check out my future bat outfit this is the future bat suit I'll be wearing this 20 years from now Robin but you can stay in your Robin Robin Hood-esque outfit I feel like Robin and Green Arrow go to the same tailor. <laughs> They're kind of similar. From my understanding, you know, there is a, the McFarlane's Toys figure line are six inch figures. Um, so, it, you know, these are four inch figures and they, and they fit pretty nice. Um, the six inch figures probably fit really snug um, and I'm, I'm really curious to see how they fit um, you know they must fit perfect I mean I'm looking at the figures online and um, you know they are kinda narrow um, so I guess you know maybe they do fit um, but yeah you know definitely their heads will they gotta be sticking up a bit cause uh you know that's substantially bigger six inches and uh, you know these look scaled nice uh, you know for four inch figures be interesting uh, you know if I pick some of these up how they fit in here but yeah the McFarlane figures from what I understand there's they're six inch figures and uh, you know they go with this Batmobile you know I, I had a couple of people tell me that there were three inch figures also but you know looking online I, I haven't seen any three inch figures so I can only go from what I've seen, and um, from what my understanding, there's only six inch triggers. But, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Alright, so, oh, and just so you know, just so you see, I have also the, uh, the retro Joker here. These actual, these toys are actually from when I was a kid. Um, you know, it must have been like maybe, I want to say like 11, 12 years old at the time. This Joker actually, he squirts, you know, it's supposed to be poison out of the flower. So you basically, you know, you fill this little reservoir here with water and then it squirts. I really, I feel like it, it was Toy Biz, like I said, but I mean, I could be wrong. I didn't really do any checking. If I, you know, if I check later on, I'll, I'll post it, you know, on a caption. Um, you know, if not, it's, you know, I'll just leave it as is. So yeah, for, for $30, I, I, I really think this is a great Batmobile, McFarlane Toys, you know, as usual, I mean, 
he rarely comes out with a bad line of toys. I mean, his toys are really good. They're definitely better, I want to say quality and detail-wise, than, than the NECA toys. I have a few toys from McFarlane. Another notable one I have is the uh, Akira figure line. Um, so I have the original Akira and, um, you know, with his bike. And I gotta say, I mean, aside from some subtle differences with the stickers on the bike, um, and I don't, I don't know if that was done intentionally or not, but, um, you know, it, it's really a great likeness. Um, I'll, actu I'll actually uh, post a picture of that, too, just so you can see. But, yeah, Batmobile, definitely a score. If you can find it in stores, you know, I'd, I'd grab it quick. Um, you know, I've, I've been going to a lot of targets, specifically for magic cards. Uh, you know, I'm into that. If you saw the previous video or two um you know I've, I've, I've been kind of into the dungeons and dragons magic uh card set i'm i'm still trying to hunt for the uh tiamat foil cards i got the regular tiamats but I, I can't seem to get the foil cards it opened quite a few packs and um you know i still haven't been able to hunt one of those down back to the batmobile i haven't really seen this you know i, I really feel like i got lucky that i found it on the shelves because I, I think the only other place you can get them now is um, eBay. I've seen some for, for 30 bucks, but then you're paying probably a, a pretty substantial shipping price on top of that. So something that you could get for 30 at Target in the store is going to wind up costing you, you know, like maybe 45 to $50 on eBay. That's the lowest I've seen it. Then you have a number of people just selling them for like 50 and up. You know, if you really need to have this, you know, I, I think 50 is not too out of this world of price, um, you know, because it really is a nice Batmobile. Uh, I'm actually, I'm very happy I bought it. Uh, it's a great, great car. Now I just got to figure out where to put it so my, my youngest son doesn't grab it off the shelf. And I'm really uh, short on real estate as far as displaying things now. So my, my collection of stuff is getting lower and lower. Uh, you know, on the on the shelf tier, on the level of shelves I have. You know, I try to keep the, the less important stuff on the bottom and keep all the expensive stuff up top. So this guy might have to go on the bottom, so I'm just worried it's it's gonna find its way in the pool or some or some similar place like that. I'll definitely have to keep a close eye on this so uh, my youngest doesn't get a hold of it because it's really cool and I could see, you know, uh, a young kid seeing this toy and like not being able to resist you know playing with it because um, it really is a fun looking toy but yeah $29.99 at Target try your best to find it in store if you can um, I haven't seen anywhere else um, aside from eBay I mean you could try Amazon and there are some other toy sites out there that you might get lucky on Batmobile 1966 classic TV series $29.99 at Target if you're a Batman fan especially the 1966 Batman with Adam West and Burt Ward you need this Batmobile kudos to McFarlane Toys another winner and uh, to be sure if I find the actual McFarlane Toys figures I'll be getting them as well thanks for watching this was the Raging Geek I had fun doing this video Shared some of my old toys with you guys. Come back soon. Take care. Raging Geek. Retro. All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks. Raging Geek. Retro. All things geek. We're geeks and be geeks.